Hello, you are on Proxy Seller channel, my name is Max and in this video I will show you how to set up receiving and sending mail through Outlook mail service using a proxy server. For appropriate work you need to use an additional program, in addition to Outlook itself, to set up data forwarding. I recommend you free HTTP port program, which you can easily download from the internet. Setting of proxy server in Outlook begin with this program. Download and run it. Firstly, let's set up everything for receiving mail, namely the POP3 server. To do this, go to port mapping tab in the program. Now you need to add server details. To do this, on the right click on add button. New mapping will appear in the field below. For convenience, I will rename this menu to Inbox. It will be set up for incoming mail. After you click on plus, three menus will be opened. Local port, remote host and remote port. Let's fill these fields. In local port, specify internet port, which will be used by you in Outlook in the future. I'll set it 9110. Next, remote host. Here you need to specify the server of incoming messages. You can find it in the settings of the mailbox service you are using. I have mail on Gmail, so I specify the server of input messages in this field. In remote port field specify port that is used in your mail service. Done. Incoming messages have been configured. And now let's set up outgoing messages. Let's repeat already familiar procedure. Again click on add button. New mapping is created, which I rename on outbox. It is outgoing messages. In the local port field specify port number for outgoing messages. You will also need this value in the future to configure Outlook. In remote host field specify server of outgoing SMTP messages. You can also see this server in the settings of your mail service. I am specifying for Gmail. You can find your remote port there and indicate it here. Done. We have configured outgoing and incoming mail servers for this program. And now in the same program, in fact, you need to configure your proxy server, which you are going to use in Outlook. Go to proxy tab and here we set proxy server parameters. In host name or IP addresses, specify IP of the server in port field. Specify port in username and password field, login and password if you got it. When all values are entered, click on start button. Done. Proxy server in this program is set and servers of outgoing and incoming mail have been configured. Now you need to bind these settings to Outlook. Go to Outlook. I already have mailbox configured in Outlook, which I use to receive and send letters. And for it, I set up a proxy and now I will bind a proxy to my account. To do this, go to Tools tab. Next, select Account Settings. Double click on your account. In the window that opens, select Other Settings. You are redirected to Mail Settings. Find Advanced. In the window that opens, you need to set Pub3 Server and SMTP Server. These are values that you specified in the local port field in HTTP port program. Specify the same values for incoming and outgoing mail. Thereby bind the program through these ports to Outlook and thereby proxy server. When all values are entered, click OK and close all windows. So everything is ready and you can use proxy server when sending and receiving emails in Outlook. And by the way, if you still haven't got a personal proxy, then I recommend you to do it as soon as possible. After all, there is an excellent, reliable service which I recommend you, ProxySeller.com. Personal proxies with 24-7 support are ideal for serious work and will provide anonymity at the proper level. If you have any questions, there is an article on ProxySeller.com, which also can help you to configure a proxy in Outlook. I will leave a link in the description. Subscribe to Proxy Seller channel and click like. There are many more useful tips ahead which will make your job easier. Bye!